Hello, hello, and welcome back to Password. Uh, we we now know who the master is. We've always known. Come on, we we always knew that Roswell was the villain. That he's a terrible prick anyway. We'll just <laughs> we'll just continue. <laughs> oh, that's pink. I don't like this implication. Okay. <clears throat> That day was unlike anything I'd ever experienced. The pain, the guilt, everything hitting me all at once. After so long of everything being planned out to prevent just that, Dave was dead. The memory of it was fuzzy. And what happened next? Going downstairs, seeing limp in Tyson's arms, Orlando wailing into the night sky. It was awful. We were so busy thinking about every other way that it could have gone bad, and the simplest outcome <clears throat> uh, was what happened. But it makes matter. But to make matters worse, I couldn't remember the details. What other bits and pieces were left were up to Thanatos to remember. No. Oh. Okay. It all came back to that one memory I had, a strong memory from a long time ago, and I only knew as wait, and I only knew it was one because Thanatos uh, told me. The worst part is I could still feel the fire prickling at, at my uh, skin and fur. I could smell the smog and ash clogging my nose and making it hard to breathe. I could hear Tyson screaming up above and I could taste the blood in my mouth from where I had coughed it up. Amidst the heat and the pain, I knew where I was. I just didn't know why. Thanatos was there, but... Are... Are you there, Hypnos? He wasn't talkative. He wasn't really much of anything back then, apparently. Just watching, waiting, lingering. I think... I think I'm the last one alive. As much as the smog made it hard to breathe, I was able to laugh. A cold and bitter laugh despite the fire raging in the house. It was a cruel reality that had landed us here. Events from... events far outside our control. Hey, did you know this was going to happen? He didn't give me... give anything away. Instead, just watching still. I... I need a favor. Please! He was listening. If I die, when I die, I... If you can save them. If you can save my friends. My vision was fading fast, but pleading for salvation from a robotic rat was all I had left. If not now, then uh, for some time later, I knew what he was and what he was meant to do. If there was any chance, no matter how small, I had to gamble on it in hopes that things wouldn't turn out this way. Hypnos. And despite every th everyone else dying, you're going to live on, aren't you? You're not going to die. You're just going to... He came closer. I assumed it was a, a sort of affection. That he knew what was happening. You should have been called Thanatos. Thanatos. <clears throat> he mimicked my voice back at me. The slight incline... Inc yeah, incline of his head, gesturing, and he par parroted it back at a question, as a question. A god of death, not sleep, but if you can't die, then... I am a god of death. So please, uh, Thanatos. Save my friends. I opened my eyes uh, slowly. My head was hu was hurting. Hurting. That's that's what that word is. Good morning. Thanatos, I'm not getting up. But Roswell, it's time to get up. Ah, uh, there's that smile. He's great. Thanatos is great. I could hear him scrambling from the floor up to the top of the bed, and I rolled over in an attempt to ignore him. I'm not ready to be awake yet. Sure you are. What day is it? Ugh, good question. Let me check. 
I could hear the murmuring of him checking his memory for a few seconds before um, proudly declaring the answer. Oh, um, by how we were, uh, we, we've been measuring, uh, this is the third, 23rd day of the in interaction experience. Inter this iteration's experiment. Yeah, so, yesterday. Oh, yeah. I totally uh, knocked you and Dave out. Why? I thought it'd be funny. Yeah, hilarious. No, lighten up. You are fine. Dave's probably fine. What do you mean, probably? Has he not waken up yet since? Yeah? No. I swear, if you've done something to him, you'd get us nowhere. You know I wouldn't. On purpose, anyway. Do you remember what happened after I put you under yesterday? More or less, I think. Tell me. I woke up mid-afternoon. Sometime before dinner. Oswin was here, injected me with something, and I felt a little better. What else? I slept for a little more. He gave me another dose, and honestly, I'm feeling pretty good at the moment, and just waking up. Alright, good. So we know that's a way to get you up and going again. Hey, I need to check something f I need you to check something for me. It might take a bit, but it's important. What? I need you to check your memories for when Dave dies again. Because? I resonated again. Somehow. For some reason. Well, don't look at me. I didn't do anything. I know you didn't. I didn't need you to explain it again, either. I'll explain it to Dave, then. Is it happening to him as well? I think so. Hard to say. But it's not my problem. I can totally go check my memories for all the bad stuff. What are you going to do in the meantime? Go back to sleep? Well, I do all the work. Fat chance I'm letting that happen. He kicked me lightly in an attempt to move me out of bed. Move your ass. You know I can't move it and myself otherwise. Otherwise I would. You're not my mom. Or your dad. Right, so... So get up. Please. What's wrong with sleeping in a little longer? If I had to... Yes. Yes. If I had to be up working on this experiment, then so do you. Thanatos, you don't even sleep. I slept. I sleep enough. Spoken like a true college student. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I slept when I was in college. <laughs> Sometimes. Just not all the time. Coming from the guy who doesn't know what that's like. I smirked, uh, though it faded fast upon remembering why that was. True. Sorry, I was autopilot for a moment. It's fine. Do you know who else, uh, who else is awake? Just us. Oswin and Benson. Everyone should be in their rooms if nothing has uh, deviated from what happened before. All right. I kicked my feet out lightly from under the covers to start to get up, pushing myself to a sit and then rolling forward until my feet touched the carpet. Where are you going? To go have a talk with Oswin. I'll be quick. Fair enough. Let me know what happens with that, all right. You're just going to stay here after all? Well, if the uh, bed is free, maybe I'll use it to get some sleep in. I rolled my eyes as I changed out of my pajamas and into proper clothes. Please do the uh, the search for me. It's important. Don't worry. I'll get it done after I get my voice uh, set correct. Yeah, voice set correctly for Dave. You're really not letting up on that. It's what Dave knows. If I did anything else, I'd just ruin the fun. 
You're weird. Have fun talking to Oswin. Then, before you go, uh, how's my voice? Sufficiently, ominously robotic. It's very unnecessary. I'll work on it. If I find out anything, I'll come. I'll come find you. He's putting on a voice just for just for Dave. That's silly. I like that. <laughs> I'd forgotten just how cold the house could be so early in the morning. Uh, many times in my childhood, I'd gotten up early and wandered around. Having the house to yourself would do that. No other kids around, no parents, though Benson and Oswin were close enough. Benson seemingly always watching, Oswin occasionally hovering to the side, as if I was some other creature. You're a child. You are a creature. <laughs> Uh, even the hidden passages, I knew them all, though knowing them all was not as impressive uh, when there was only the three. The one here, the one in the basement, and the one outside the kitchen, they all linked up anyway. With the exception of this, the strange door that looked like uh, what Thanatos had also existed, had also e existed in the uh, library. library. <laughs> um, but on different uh, systems. Thankfully, the code to this door was easy enough. Though I didn't really understand the full weight of why, part of me didn't care enough to ask. Mom and uh, Mom was Oswin's sister, after all. Or at least, uh, they were close enough that they considered each other family. Why her name was the password to the door is a particular, uh, in particular, was a mystery to me. Not that it really mattered, anyway. The whole concept of family was a strange one for me. With the dad working long hours and mom doing the same, I was used to just spending time alone, kept the place uh, manageable uh, enough without being messy, get my homework done, simple enough. More often than not, I'd found myself dropped off in the very house for long per prolonged periods of time, semi-homeschooled by, by the only other boy here, Though chores and well, chores were handled mostly by Benson. As I stepped into the lab, I could see Oswin there already looking to the door. The place had been closed off, but a quick entry of a door code into the panel beside it locked, uh, released the lock. Oh, smile! Look at the smile, boy. Uh, good morning. I can never remember a voice for Oswin just doesn't happen. Oswin and Benson don't show up enough, you know? Uh, for, for, for me to be consistent. I grumble something back and wander closer, uh, dropping myself into the open chair beside him. Um, <clears throat> uh, what? No ha- not happy to see me. It's not that. No. Oh, well then. I always seemed so energetic when we were- he always seemed so energetic when we were alone. It was almost like dealing with a tired Orlando, or maybe a slightly caffeinated Dave. Still, he hurried over to the door to the lab and locked it again, ensuring we had privacy. Did you want to see a magic trick? I've been working on a new one. A uh, magic trick? Now? I thought you liked magic tricks. I do, but... Of all the things you could be working on. Uh, the wind had been taken out of his sails, and he just sat down heavily in his chair, uh, swiveling as he thought. So, no magic then. Fine. Sorry. If things were a little different, I'd be interested, but... But? I had a dream last night, and I don't know what to think about it. Different from your, uh, to your other dreams. If Thanatos was here, he'd correct me and say it was a memory. Nah, I see. So, uh, they're getting worse. Or maybe not worse, but more vivid. I can't say I'm a fan of that. What do you require of me? To listen. Alright. I breathe in through my nose as I ga gathered my thoughts. Uh, looking around the lab, I tried to focus on anywhere other than the pair of eyes staring at me. 
I don't know. If I... If what we're doing, what we've been doing, what I may mean is... You can just say it. Thanatos isn't here. I'm having second thoughts. I'm wondering if maybe he lied. Well. Uh, well. <clears throat> well, I can tell you for the fact that he wasn't invented to specifically double-cross you. Or even really think of, of half, a thi half the things he does. Yeah. Well, he was just meant to be a friend. But now you have a question. Other things are a bit muddied, right? One way to say it, sure. From one of his drawers, he pulled out a small piece of wrapped candy and handed it over to me. After I'd, uh, I'd taken it, he grabbed one for himself and started unwrapping it idly. You know, Roswell, things are bad enough if you, if you wanted things to stop. You could still stop them. I know. But what would be the cost? What would the cost be? No one. I'm not one I'm willing to pay, mind you. He regarded me over his glasses, <clears throat> with the uh, piece of candy still half unwrapped in his fingers, mine untouched. It's unlikely to turn down a piece of candy. I unwrapped the rest of my... Uh, with the, I unwrapped it the rest of the way and put it into my mouth. Is something fruity and sugary, the faintest hint of tartness, and that made my mouth pucker. So I rolled it uh, against one of my, uh, the rest against my cheek. That's better. Oz, just you being here makes things so much more complicated. If you weren't, if you were dead, uh, I could have just, you know, gotten it done, lived with the guilt for a couple of weeks, and that'd be that. I'd be dead, but ev everyone else would be alive. It's not as if me being here has really stopped your attempts, however. Even attempting Benson's murder, no doubt. Excuse me? He looked to the door, as if um, making sure it was still closed, before sliding closer to me, uh, bringing his voice low. I know your determination to save your friends is that strong. But you'd willingly shoot Benson. Consider, uh, you'd even consider making him a target. Doesn't matter. Dave stopped it. And it's not as if he's one of my friends. He grabbed me hard by the ear. Hard enough that I squealed in pain. But I was, um, but I was just as quickly pulled into his chest in one awkward hug. Now listen here, boy. Benson is family. You do well to respect your... Elders. Why the pause? To be frank, I don't think he'd let you kill him. Unless he, well, let you kill him. And if he did, where's the problem? You said yourself that you didn't want uh, me making my, f my friends murderers. Or me living with the guilt of killing one of them myself. I know you weren't raised to be the, uh, that are wrapped in your logic. Where is your compassion? You try dealing with these nightmares of seeing everyone die, Oz. How about you deal with the prospect that countless times that you didn't even remember you're responsible for the deaths of those you care about? Watch your tone. The worst part? I still don't know if I'm doing it right. If I screw up, everyone dies. I'm stuck between watching everyone die, or choosing to save any number of them I can by doing awful things. He relaxed, and I pulled away, dropping back into my chair. It's not fair, but what choice do I have? You don't need me to tell you that you always have a choice, Roswell. I just wish the choice was better. So do I, Roswell. So do I. I should maybe go get coffee or breakfast or something. Nah, better you go. Are you fine? Are you still fine with coming with me into the woods? Me? Sure. It makes sense. Though I don't know why you'd want to uh, double check that. Because it's polite. Also, 
I want to make sure that you're actually wanting to come. I have something important for you. Then give it to me now. Not while Thanatos is around. He's always going to be around. He's going to be around long after I die. You die long after everyone dies. And will remember and tell me everything relevant anyway. Not this. This is something I'd rather you not hear from him in any loop of this universe. You're being weird, but fine. If Thanatos was going to be weird, I guess you get a pass too. Why, thank you, my dearest nephew. Though, on the topic of Thanatos, where is he now? In my room, checking his memory for me. He seemed to contemplate on that, almost wanting to say something, but he held back. If he wasn't going to be a prying, but going to be a prying, then I wasn't going to offer anything. Do you want anything from the kitchen, Oz? I could hear him mumble under his breath. There's something about me calling um, him uncle, but I ignore it and uh, waited for his uh, our reworked answer. No, thank you. I shall see you later, Roswell. I make my way back through the passage and closed, closed it behind me once I'd emerged from the basement. It was quiet, though I could hear movement. Had the others started to arise already? Had someone had something happened? Each step I made uh, heading upstairs towards the foyer was made carefully, just in case. Okay, I shall end the part here. So I will see you around, everyone.